Now at six, a dangerous TikTok trend is spreading fast out there, and it involves teens and high doses of Benadryl. In fact, one Ohio family lost their son because of this, and now they are warning other parents. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons has their story. No brain scan. There was nothing there. A family's worst nightmare. A 13-year-old dead, overdosed on medication, all for a viral trend. He could lay there like that, but he will never open his eyes. He will never... Breathe on his own, breathe on he'll his never own, do anything like smile, that. Smile, he'll never walk, talk. Earlier this month, Jacob Stevens attempted a TikTok trend dubbed the Benadryl Challenge. Kids downing high doses of the allergy medicine to reach a high. While his friends were filming, the Greenfield, Ohio teen started seizing. After six days on a ventilator, Jacob's family made the difficult decision to say goodbye. Certainly that's alarming, and if I was a parent, I would be very worried about that. Dr. Shan Yin leads Cincinnati's Drug and Poison Information Center. He says just because medication is over the counter doesn't mean it can't be deadly. There's kind of a common toxicology saying, which is that the dose is that makes the poison, which essentially means that almost anything can be a poison if you take enough. At most, you're supposed to take two Benadryl tablets. This challenge has you taking six times that. And it's nothing new. This trend surfaced back in 2020, but it seems now TikTok is cracking down because if you search it, you can no longer find it. The challenge now replaced with a disclaimer, urging users to study up on the impacts of substance misuse, a move Yin can get behind. But TikTok isn't the only social media app, and he worries more teens could land in emergency rooms across the country. It's hard to know how prevalent it is, how many teens are looking at it. All we know is certainly that there has been an increase in in this kind of ingestion that, that, that we have been seeing more severe outcomes, and, and certainly that is worrisome. Now Jacob's family wants change, asking lawmakers for age restrictions on buying medicines like Benadryl and using platforms like TikTok, and urging parents to pay attention. Keep an eye on what your kid's doing with that phone. Talk to them about, you know, the situation. I want everybody to know about my son's situation. Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.